Welcome to Rock Talk. We have a guest tonight that was on before, the lead singer from the legendary band called Wild Dogs, Matthew T. McCourt is our guest. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing pretty good, Wynn. Thanks for having me back. This is fun. And thanks for the trip, man. I haven't been to L.A. for a long time. The room is amazing. Hi, Matt. Thanks for coming back. And uh, you guys really know how to empty a refrigerator. <laughs> well, you said take what, what you want. What are you want. doing? Trying to uh, lure slugs out of your garden? <laughs> Something like you that. You know how to put it away. Yep. <laughs> Last time, you said that you and Dr. Mastermind were working together on a project, and we have a clip of one of the songs that's going to be released next week, I think it is, right? Yep. Well, we're, Sounds uh, pretty rocking out. It's so dropping Let's play a little week. bit. Okay. This is Selfish Man. Kind of I like it. Savvy. Yeah, I do too. I play guitar. Boris played bass. Dave Pathway played drums. You know, Matt, one of our producers, our main producer, Natalie Sizemore, she's a lovely woman. Her? She really oh, yeah. is fond of you and loves it when you're on. So, uh, oh, she, she, she's an awesome. I have I a really feeling you'll be her. back. She was talking about maybe making you a co host with me. I would or taking love it. it over all together. That sounds kind of uh, fun for you. I yes, got my plate full with all the glorious news of the day. Wow. Okay, let's go. I'll do it. I've been doing cable access forever. Yes, she probably could. She, uh, I know she worked on a lot of movies at Disney and so did Alan Tudyk. Tudyk? Yeah, yeah exactly. I like that guy. Resident Alien also. I'm I can a relate. big Resident Alien fan. And Sarah Tomko is, Asta is amazing. So, Matt, let's talk about the wild dogs. That's why I'm here, right? <laughs> the what video you we're going to play is from 1987. Uh, it's a, a reunion, reunion show, I think, and it's yes. uh, after you were uh, out of the band. Replaced, can I say that? Yeah, as I'm lead back singer in the band, in the band, not once but twice, and the guys <laughs> wouldn't tell you that was what was going to happen. No, it came out of left field. Now, how did yep, you feel it, about that? Well, they introduced me to the new singer on a meeting with the new with the manager. Ken Mendick, who worked for Journey and Night Ranger, and said, this is our new singer. So I thought, what? I never heard anything about it, no warning, nothing. I was writing songs for the That third seemed album. like a very unprofessional way to uh, change a member in a group that's, but, well, nothing is perfect. I scared them. No, I guess I scared them. <laughs> I was bigger than they are. They were wimpy little guys. You must have been quite scary. Well, Black and Blue, the band called me. That was their nickname for me, Scary Man. <laughs> now, going back a little bit, I'm sorry that I missed the Ravers. I was a teenage rock and roller on the first yeah. segment. But I've gone back, and there's a lot of videos on YouTube that have the Ravers, and... It's great new wave punk pop music. Yeah, I got so Andy McKay. I met him at a oh, Grammy Awards really? party one year. Oh, and yeah. he was a fascinating man. He knew everybody. He He'd been in the he business won a few since Grammys. the Beatles. Yep, since '63. Are you still in touch with him? No, he uh, retired and died in 2020. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. He was a great guy. He was like my uncle. I could call up Universal's top office and get in, no problem. <laughs> it says you also helped form the band Malice. Yes, Jay Reynolds was living in my mom's basement and I played bass on the demos that got him. On they were on Atlantic later. Records. Oh yeah, later. Dean played drums on the demos. Dean didn't want to move to LA and so they found another guy and moved to L.A. and 
Jay has a way of dealing with people that gets him what he wants. Good band. Mick Zane. In the video, the you are quite the showman, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> or spectacle. People Have you always say, been a lead singer, or you play guitar in the Ravers, correct? No, yeah, I was only a lead singer in Wild Dog. Before I played guitar and bass, I started playing drums at age five. And uh, How did you start playing bass? I was high on acid at a jam with some older guys when I was 14. They were Oh, the good old days. Yep, and the bass, I couldn't play, there's so many guitar players, the bass player said, So after the group bass. Wild Dogs uh, got a new singer, and uh, what happened? How did that all come about? Well, they got a new singer. They did an album called Reign of Terror, and I took my songs that I wrote for the third album oh. and gave them to Dr. Mastermind. Well, that was great. It worked out for the better. My songs The rest, as Dr. they say, is history. Exactly. And you met Dr. Mastermind at a gig, or Boris. I prefer to call him Boris. That's his name. At the show you did with Steeler and Black and Blue at the uh, Reseda Country Club. That's a nice venue. Oh, yeah. Or it's it was. Lovely I haven't place. been there for years. I met him after the show in the green room when everybody that was going to be a rock star in the 80s was there to see Ingrid Malmsteen. We've been friends ever since. And uh, decided I'd call him you up. You did say, comedy hey. in the 90s? Oh, yeah, I did. Nobody wanted Tell any about metal, it. so I did stand up as hey, Madison I'm going Avenue. The, the Bloomstone I Brothers. The lady says, I had a band called the Bloomstone Sorry Brothers. About the a guy named Mongo? My yeah. Up to the, window, I said, the cookie song is our big hit. Was he the life. same one that was in, uh, oh. you know, oh. that movie? Shoot. You know. Blazing Saddles. Yeah. Now, he was named after that. But, oh, uh, another Mongo. We, we have an album out called Greatest Hits Volume 2. That's our first album. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. And you but, produced uh, wrestling? Wow. Oh, yeah. In so you went to college for film and TV production? In Maybe you could get a job here. Natalie okay. would probably hire you. Well, take me, Natalie. I'm yours. I got nothing going. Wow. Wrestling. I never never made money at music. Yeah, Your cousin, was. Mark Ferris, was Roddy Piper's tag team partner in the 80s? Wow. Yes, in the 80s. Then he started You come from a pretty knocks. famous family. Uh, what a, not really. My, my grandpa played drums. That's how he made a living. And then what happened? Well, 9-11. Well, uh, 9 11 happened, and I got hired at uh, Portland Cable, um, Portland Community College. So I guess 9 right. 11 worked Parking. out for you. You oh, got a yeah. job as a ticket writer. Uh, what, what do you mean, a parking ticket writer? You needed a permit to park on campus. I went around and checked all the cars by on foot on this mountain to ah. see if they had a permit, and then write them a ticket if they didn't. Met a lot of nice people out there. The girls would come and give me coffee. You started your label on six hundred dollars a month with no investment, yes. while no walking around. Outside I, help. I came up with I came up with this idea. That's and amazing. Sent a proposal to all I'm these impressed. stupid places. And uh, for a short run CD thing and this factory picked it well, up. Well, like I always say, if you can't find somebody to do it, do it yourself. Story of my life. Okay, let's fast forward. I'm getting the okay. the sign that we should wrap it up soon. In 2002, you went to Amsterdam with the mentors. I did seven and you records loved Europe. with them. And in 2008, yeah, and you got an offer to play at a giant festival in in Germany called Headbangers Open Air. Outside of Hamburg. And so yeah, you put a group together and went to do it. Yeah, Robert Robinson on guitar, Troy Sessman on drums. They treated us like rock stars, asked for our autograph, lines of people asking for autographs. It was a pretty awesome week. We did three shows that week there. I've always wanted to go to Germany. I love Germany. Okay, I'm getting the signal now that uh, it's time to Thank wrap it all here. up. Okay. And I'm sorry we don't have more time for you. Thank you so much for coming on again.
and I'm sure you'll be back. Natalie loves you. People she are says, always trying to shut me I up. I love that guy. He's my favorite celebrity. Yeah. Well, we all think you're a celebrity around here. So keep doing <laughs> what you do and come That's back. Funny. And uh, well, thank you very much. My, Matthew T. McCourt from she's my Wild Dogs. Producer. His website is usmetal.com. And we'll have him back and talk some more at a later date. This is Rock Talk. I'm Win Lose Some. And keep on rocking. Keep on rocking, baby. I love you all. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>